Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can solve simple two-step equations. Let's start with our first problem. We have 3x plus 4 equal to 19. Well, in order to solve um, a two-step equation, you should first remember order of operations. PEMDAS is the acronym that helps me remember parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Now when we solve two-step equations, we always solve them by undoing order of operations. So that means we're going to take our usual order of operations and work backwards. That means in this case, we will get rid of the plus 4 before we get rid of the multiplication by 3. So I can get rid of a plus 4 with a minus 4 because the opposite of addition is subtraction. Now if I subtract 4 from one side of the equation, I also need to subtract 4 from the other side. So let me go ahead and do that. Plus 4 minus 4 is 0, and that goes away, which is great. That's what I want. Now I only have 3x on one side, and on the other side I have 19 minus 4, which is 15. So basically I've taken a two-step equation, and I've gotten rid of one of the numbers, and I'm left with a simple one-step equation. Now the 3 is multiplying the x, so to get rid of it, I use the opposite of multiplication, which is division, and I show my division with a fraction bar. If I divide one side by 3, I also have to divide the other side by 3. This goes away, and I'm left with x is equal to 5. Great, let's do another problem. This time, I will get rid of the minus 15 by adding 15, because addition is the opposite of subtraction. So I'll do that to both sides, because whatever you do to one side of your equation, you must do to the other. This goes away, which is great. Now I'm left with 7x is equal to 62 plus 15, which is 77. Now, to get rid of the multiplication by 7, I'll divide both sides by 7, which I show using a fraction bar, and that goes away, so that I'm left with x is equal to 11. Notice that in both cases so far my answer to the equation is an equation, so you should always give your answer in the correct form. Let's do a two-step problem that has division in it. This is x divided by 5 plus 1 equals 7. So I will get rid of the addition and subtraction before I get rid of the multiplication and division. I'll get rid of addition with minus 1, and I'll subtract 1 from the other side as well. So plus 1 minus 1 goes away, and I'm left with x over 5 equals 6. Now the opposite of division is multiplication. So I need to multiply by 5 to get rid of this divide by 5. And I'm going to show that by using parentheses. And I'm going to put times 5 on both sides of my equation. The 5 that I multiply by gets rid of the 5 in the denominator, and I'm left with x is equal to 30. In my last problem, there's a slight twist. And this twist is because there's a subtraction problem, but it's trapped inside the numerator of this fraction. So in order to do this problem, I first have to get rid of this divide by 6 because I can't touch the subtraction until I've cleared the fraction. So I'll get rid of that by multiplying by 6 and I will also multiply the other side by 6. Multiplying the left side by 6 clears the fraction and I'm left with x minus 3 is equal to 18. Now I can get rid of this minus 3 by adding 3 to both sides. And I get x is equal to 21. You might find that some of your equations are a little bit more difficult in that they have either negative numbers or fractions or decimals. But the, the, the steps of algebra 
but the steps of algebra are going to be the same in that you always undo the addition and subtraction before you undo the multiplication and division. I would suggest that you get comfortable with doing these kinds of problems before you try more difficult problems that have either three steps or that have fractions and decimals in them. Make sure that you feel comfortable doing two-step equations with these kind of numbers before you try more difficult numbers such as fractions, decimals, or negatives.